right, guys, welcome back to some more Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. We swapped out the team a little bit, and hopefully we have a good matchup for them in this battle. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so these, I don't think we've encountered these guys before, but they're the uh, Spooky Bucklers. Okay, so it's the Ghost Shield Wall guys. Ugh. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, and they're behind indestructible terrain. We've got a couple of the Valkyries over here and one over there. And a spooky hopper, and they're behind indestructible terrain. And we are a mile away. Now, did I remember to get uh, better weapons after the mini boss? Or was it not significantly different? More chance of bounce, and eh, there's not that many Valkyries. Okay, so I guess we're up to date on our weapons. Let's check out our skill tree. We assigned most of those, so that's good. Well, I'll assign the rest as we use the characters. Okay. So I'm just gonna hope... Yeah, I think if we just stay out of range of these guys for the first turn, they're not a threat. And then... Yeah, I think that'll be the best bet. I think we can get rid of these guys turn one. Let's see, how can we do this? Okay. So, we have Rabid Mario for his shotgun. Rabid Luigi has immunity to super effects, and I did want to use him some more. This is why I threw him in the team. And these guys get super effect guaranteed, so he's actually going to be coming quite a handy on this one. Um, he also has the Vamp Dash, which allows us to peg everybody with the Vampirism. Do we not have... I think we have multiple Vamp Dash on him, right? Yeah, we've got double Vamp Dash on him. Okay. So, let's see. How far can he go? Oh, damn it. I, I just want to start the battle. I keep getting the X and Y buttons confused because it's different than an um, Xbox controller. Like, Nintendo has to have them backwards for some reason. Okay. So, Rabbit Mario is the one we need to get behind enemy lines. He can run to here. Okay, okay, so we can do this. If we put Mario here... Or, like, maybe here, so he's behind full cover... No, here. We put Rabid Mar or we put Mario here. We jump Rabid Luigi here. Then we can run Rabid Mario over, jump off of him, and get behind him. And then we can use Rabid Luigi's rocket launcher to shoot these guys. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, Mario, you need to get as close as you can. We'll put Hero Sight on, so that way if I get them on fire from the rocket launcher, then we get an extra shot. Rabid Luigi. Okay, it was this space. Goes here. And just a quick check. Alright, so this guy has one, two, three, four movement, and then his gun has how much range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, yeah, okay, we're just out of range. We're like one or two blocks out of range of those guys this turn. That's what I wanted. All right, then Rabid Luigi will go... We want him off of... Or, Rabid Mario will go off of Rabid Luigi. And we'll put him... There? Yep, that'll work. So we want to use the rocket launcher second, because if it scatters them, I want them shotgunned first. Nice, nice, nice. Now we use the rocket launcher. 
And we're just out of range of him. Good. I was hoping being back away from him a little bit would help. So we rocket launcher this guy. That one guy's dead. The other two did not get lit on fire. What is Mario's... Now we can, if we pull them with the music as the second option, should get two shots off with Mario. 140. Oh, only one? Really? Well. Oh, wait, Mario can finish this guy off. Okay. Oh, sure, now you get the crit. Couldn't have gotten the crit on the other one, and we could have shot the other guy with you. Alright, so one guy's left alive. Um, what is their ability? Okay, they have a ground pound, so they don't have the ability to hit me with uh, the dash, so I don't need his protection. Oh, I can't turn his protection on anyway. And we can't weaken anybody in range, so I think... I think that's it for our turn. Yeah, we got two of them down, and the other one is pretty weak. Now we have to deal with these guys this turn, and then that second Valkyrie, but... Oof, keeping up some tight ranks. Ow. Ow. That's a lot of damage. Luckily, we do have Vampirism on both of our guys, so we can get that health back. Oh, okay, he's going to protect everyone. Um... Well, shit. Okay, do we have anyone in dash range? No, they're just one square outside of our dash range. Oh, that's not nice. Okay, let's get Mario moved up first. Can we get a bounce on this guy? No. Can't hit him with the hammer if I'm there, so let's go behind full cover. Oh, I wish I could have gotten the bounce off of that, though. That would have made that a lot easier. Um, Alright, can I inspire Rabid Mario from here? No, his range is too short. Oh, Rabid Luigi can get at least one vamp dash off. Okay, so this guy's just dead. That's good. So what can Rabid Mario do? Okay, so he can boom dash, but that will hurt Mario, so let's not do that since we can kill him with the other guy. We could land him here, but... Oh no, that actually flanks them. For some odd reason, that counts as a flank. Alright, well that works for me. These guys have the boom dash, which we can cancel out with the thing. Does it count as a... Okay, that doesn't count as a flank on all three. So we'll move here. Cool. Then we can vampire dash here, jump here, and then... Ooh. Okay. We can go here... Kill this guy. This puts us behind full cover. And we either gonna have immunity to super effects. What is their super effect? Um, their guns are push. I really honestly don't care too much about push. So I'm going to drop everybody's damage by 30%. And then I'm going to hold off on his attack for a bit to see what I want to do. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have moved him first, because... Oh no, he's actually not in range of these, or this shot. Okay, that guy will die. Alright, so I'm going to want this. Alright, so if I'm gonna hit him first, it guarantees the application of vampirism, and it reduces how much health he has that he can absorb these guys' shots with. 
Then if we shoot, we're guaranteed a little bit of health back on Rabid Mario, or 50% chance for more health back. And then these guys can all take some damage and maybe have vampirism applied. Okay, so we got 150 health back, which means we're sitting at really good health. Yeah, he was just outside of range, so I wouldn't have been able to inspire anyway. And then these guys, I can't hit them. Damn, with Mario. I don't know if that... No, it doesn't even mess with them or anything. Alright. Yep, you guys run your dash into my highly powerful dash shield. And then, you know, sit there and do nothing. Ooh, that push hurts, though. That pushes me out of the range, which means Rabid Luigi's gonna get dashed. Ow. Ugh. But Rabid Luigi is still in range of all of the vamp dashes that we need. And we can get boom dashes off of Rabid Mario next turn. Stop pushing me out of bounds, jackasses. Okay, let's get... So I'm assuming the boom dash would hit... Yeah, that would hit Luigi. So let's get Luigi out of there. Let's get two vampire dashes off. And then park myself flanking them. Alright, that gets me all my health back. Then, I should be able to have them actually killed. Okay, how much spread damage is this gonna do? Like, if I hit this guy first? Okay, good. If I hit this guy first and then this guy, I get more hits, which gets me more health back. Then, if I sit here, I have a flank on that guy. If I sit here, I have a flank on him. Um, this will do less damage to Mario. This will let Mario... Actually, where? how far can Mario move? Mario... Okay, Mario can get behind there, so I can do a ground pound off of Mario that way. So we'll do weak one first, then strong one, and then take cover. Alright, now I get all that health back is vampirism, so I should be full health again, or almost. Then Mario can dash into this guy. Oh no, because he can't dash and bounce into the... Or, uh, land on the same guy, yeah. And I'll sit here. So that does ten more damage than if we had dashed into him. Can I even hit from this range? Wow! I would be if I had any sight lines on this guy. And then this will get me my health back. Hopefully. Yep. Nice! We handled that one pretty well. And in a turn faster than they wanted. <clears throat> They're starting to really tighten up those requirements, though, for each match. Oh, hello! That was an ink bomb. When did that even get triggered? And here's another secret area we can't get to until we have the hammer smash, which I assume comes after this area. <coughs> Sorry. Ugh. Hope I'm not getting a throat cold. Alright, and then we have some puzzle area. Um. Ah. Secret hidden maze. Coins. Now, what's over there? That's a treasure, so we want to go to that one as well. Ah. I love levels like this where the floors rise up to meet you and you have to kind of, like, think outside the box. There's a lot more shield guys over there. That's some shield guys and some smashers. Ooh, not looking forward to that fight. Um, other secrets for going around the back areas? If that one ends there. 
I don't think we're able to actually find the hidden world until after we finish the actual missions, because it usually is hidden behind, or at least has been the last couple times, hidden behind a panel that is uh, only accessible through the ability to get from the end of the level. And we got some healing, which we didn't need because our vampirism and all of our careful planning. Okay. We're going to want a lot of slide dashers because we have some big guys on this. But what are our other enemies? Let's defeat seven enemies, but only three are on the field. Not sure if we... Oh, we do probably want Rabid Luigi for this. He can reach the first guy. Rabid Mario can reach the first guy. So that first guy is dead. Then it comes down to... Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Order of operations. So let's see. If we lock... Oh, damn it. Keeps doing that to me. Lock. Go to our rocket. Ah, ah! These guys run towards whoever attacks them. They're currently out of dash range. But we can fix that. Now they're angry. Now they run closer. And now they're in dash range. Ah, ah, suckers. Okay. Um, I don't need to apply vampirism first. So I'm going to do the boom dash to see how low I can get them. I think I should be able to kill the van the buckler guy this turn with the two dashes. The other two will not die straight up, but we can kill them. We position ourselves here. Yes, we can still hit them. Okay. Love that explosion. Like, it is so powerful. And this guy and this guy are dead, which leaves only that guy. We'll take cover here. I think Mario could just stomp him to finish him. Bop. And then Mario will take cover here, because we have no idea where the new enemies are coming in from. Now, there are two ways the enemy reinforcements happen. The ears pop up on one turn, often on the, like, survive missions. But if everyone's dead, sometimes they pop up and move. If they pop up and move, because there's no other enemies on the field, Mario's ability to do Hero Sight will be useful here. Otherwise, I end up wasting it and wasting a potential 300 damage. So it's a 50-50... well, not even a 50-50 shot. Um... It's guaranteed to be useful the other time, because we do have Rabid Mario's Calling Dance, so I'm just gonna go to the enemy turn. Okay, so the ears just showed, but nothing happened. Wow, that's all? Is there not another enemy over this way? Wow. Alright, so Mario will go over here and activate his hero sight, which means he gets 260 to 300 damage on that guy. And it's going to run towards Mario four squares. So if we move Rabid Mario here, he'll still be able to attack it without getting attacked. And 
then Rabid Luigi will move a little bit farther out of the way. There we go. They should keep us safe, but still allow us to cover for them coming in. Oh, it's a buckler. Okay, well, at least we get actual hits on them because they're running. Oh, and we got the critical bounce out of bounds for another 30 damage. Is that enough to... That is enough to kill him. So we have three more enemies. Two are coming from that way. Still nothing in the back here. So I'm actually going to move Rabid Luigi or Rabid Mario here. Turn on his shield. So he's going to get dashed into if those are two more buckler guys. Which is fine, and then I'll put Rabid Luigi out in the open. Yeah, because I can vamp dash my health back. I'll activate my special shield so I don't get moved. Actually, you know what I probably could have done? Just tack a cam and seen they are... Ooh, those are smasher dudes. Well, that was dumb. That was really dumb. I should have ran from those, but I didn't actually decide to check what mo enemies they were. We'll move Mario up, because they are not a threat to him, and that way he gets a better dash chance. And now we suffer, because we were dumb. I keep forgetting there's more than one big enemy. Ow, 179 damage. Luckily, we're going to get some vampirism back on these guys, but holy shit. Actually, we're not. He's just dead. Well, we're not perfecting this one. Oh my god, there's more enemies. Well then. Um... That was a huge tactical mistake. Now, does Mario get his hero sight back? No, it's one more turn. Oh, shit, we're doing this man down. We've lost our perfect, which means I have to redo this mission set off camera. Enjoy. But that will kill that guy. I wish there was a revival move, but no, he's just out of the fight. Damn, I totally un- ah, Okay, so while we have the options... Smasher, Smasher, Buckler. Alright, we only need to kill one of them, so we'll just go with whatever one we can kill fastest. Which means we can actually just straight up kill one of the Bucklers. How far does Mario's Super Sight go? To take two shots. Okay. So we need to move. Rabbit Luigi up to here. Mario up to here. We activate Hero Sight. And then, to guarantee that the Hero Sight goes off on the correct guy, we shoot him 340 damage. That should total out right. Ah, oh, shit, we critical bounced it, so he's not going to run towards us. Mm. 
not enough to get the hero side activated. But we can still hit him with this, which will piss him off, and then Mario can activate. Okay, I forgot about the bounce. Uh, poor rabid Mario. Uh, we almost perfected that area, but nope. We messed up because we didn't think of what the thing that was coming out of the ground would be. Holy crap, we are getting a ton of those skill orbs. Alright, well, I'll redo that one off camera so I can keep up the uh, everything perfect streak. Where is this going? Oh, I didn't even think of using the pipes. Holy shit, that was a convenient pipe from one side to the other. I didn't even realize that was an option. There's another smashing area. So we can't do anything with that. Uh, I really screwed that chapter up. Right, looks like we're in a puzzle zone. Like the motif. Madame Blastrella's handiwork, she's still upset at the rabbits for breaking one of her favorite crystal balls. Ah, we got a gold weapon. Assuming we can find all of them. Oh, there's a lot of these down these long dead ends. This is probably going to be a time one, because I might... No, I'll make it in time. Also, we found another uh, thing to look at. Aw, I'm both frightened of my core and in awe of the artistry and skill involved in carving that pumpkin-shaped chain chomp. That is actually really cool. I think I might actually do that this year for, uh... That is a really cool uh, ca pumpkin carving design. I like that one. Alright, who gets the weapon? Is it something worth buying before the next mission? Brunhilda, bring down the final curtain for your opponents with explosive aria from this combative con controlio? Contralto? Damn. Whoever is on par or on uh, point on the alliteration and vocabulary for these weapon descriptions. Let's see how much difference that makes. It's only a tiny bonus, but it does increase the area of effect. Holy shit. Also, it's really cute. That is a cute little rubber ducky. Oh, that's such a cool concept, the chain jump. Alright, let's see which group is most suited to this area. Ugh, a graveyard. It's cold, wet, and unfortunately exactly where we need to be. However, I'm confused. The only interesting thing here is the clock tower on the other side of the graveyard. Oh, it's a reach the zone. Ugh. How can it possibly help us get the moon to rise twice in the same night? Ooh, hello, secret things. Oh, this was, yeah, okay, this was after we walked in. I was like, how did we, we miss all these uh, statues and stuff? And the tr fact is, I didn't. Puts us up here. That opens that gate, we get a prize. Smart work! Eerie little square. All right. So what do we got? We've got... Well, I think we'll figure that out when we uh, run through, and then we'll decide who we have. Do a little bit of skill rearrangement so we can handle the battle better. Reach area. So this looks like a job for Luigi. This pipe gets us to there. We don't want to go in up on this platform, because we'll get teleported away. That gets us nowhere, so that's a dead end pipe. This pipe gets us here, and that pipe gets us there. Okay, so 
We need to get to that pipe. Which we have the best means of doing. Honestly, I don't think we need Luigi, because I don't think a team jump will skip us anywhere. Actually, no. A team jump could probably skip us over this. So we'd be one round closer to getting to that pipe. Okay. So we'll swap out. Still like Rabbit Mario. And then we'll get regular Luigi. Alright, let us see what we can do with our skills now. We want our Super Sight to be maxed. We want to max our movement. We want the Curative Jump. We could have three of each of these. We have 90 more, so it's 150 stomp jump or 130 dash. Let's do 150 stomp jump and then 10 more coins. Luigi, we want him to be as fast as possible, so let's speed up the itchy feet turn. Increases the area of movement. Getting in and out of pipes is going to be big on this one. We don't need the curative jump on him because he's not going to be anywhere near the team. But we can actually still pick it up. We got three extra range of movement on the team jump. And there we go. And then Rabid Mario. We'll just keep his movement up and his... Let's do damage to max. Let's get him another... I think we did three dashes with him. We can max his explosion radius. Get him the curative jump. And some coins. Nice. Alright, cool. Alright, so Luigi can do two team jumps. Luigi is capable of getting... Oh, wow. Okay, Rabbit Mario can get to there. Regular Mario can't quite land on them. Okay. So, we start with Rabbit Mario. We actually... Luigi, if you would be so kind. Extra movement range. Alright, now let's reassess. How far can Rabbit Luigi get this turn? Okay, so he can get all the way to that corner. Mario can... Oh, the movement doesn't get us after the pipe, because that becomes after pipe movement. It only becomes... Oh, well, that was a waste. Actually, since that was a waste, let's just... Quickly restart the battle, since we haven't actually taken any movements yet. because that was just a tactical issue. Um, hopefully that saved all of our uh, skill change-ups. I really don't want to do that again on camera. We, ha we have the same team set up, so I'm assuming it's still going to be fine. Yeah, he has 150 damage pounds, so we have everything correct. Okay, so... Mario is unable to reach either of them. Rabid Mario. Okay, so how far can Mario run? Because we'll have him do the team jump off of Mario to get him across the pipe thing. So Mario can only run to that line. All right. So, explosion. Ah! 
bunch of damage, and we should be able to clear them out with this. That almost kills them all. Costs me my cover, though, but that's fine. Then, we can team jump off of him over to here. We can do this in two turns. And then we can finish that guy off. So he's gone. And then Luigi can run here, jump off, jump off, and yeah, he's done next turn. Go, Luigi! Look at that distance! And we have no targets in range, so we'll go enemy turn. Actually, since we should... Okay, let's see if we can be done next turn. Uh, what is Luigi's pipe movement? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he can't quite do that. So it's going to take three turns. Okay. Damn. That would have been really cool otherwise. And then that pipe does not go the way we want it to. Okay. Alright, so. His range is... Yep. Oh, come on. Attack the cam. Lock. Range. Um... He probably won't have sight of them. But you know what? We're going to put Mario and Luigi on Overwatch. Actually, we'll put just Mario on Overwatch this turn. Boos haven't seen us yet, so they're just going to change places. And those places do not hurt me, so that's fine. He has a shield on, so the first shot's gonna miss. He's gonna get teleported somewhere random, though. I could've put Luigi on as well. Damn! Okay, then. That dude just traveled far. Oh, come on! Really? I wasn't even expecting Rabbit Mario to be in combat. Well, I regret not putting them into more protective spots. Okay, now I'm too far to get into that pipe to actually do what I was going to do, is see if I could push Luigi along further with another team jump. But I can mess with these two, possibly. So let's see about doing that. Can I draw on them both? Oh, only one. And I already have 100% on him, so there's no sense in wasting that. Put my shield on. Uh, well, at least I got some health back. And Mario cannot get close enough to help Luigi this turn. Where'd the other guy go? He is there. And we can get the flank on him, but that doesn't really help us much. Ooh, we can do this, though. Alright. So by activating that, we prevent him from following us, because if he comes out of that pipe, he gets blown up. 
We can also activate our Steely Stare. It's not a very good one because we spec'd him for movement. And then we can hide behind this, and next turn we get there. And then Mario can get himself some, I guess, defensive high ground, sort of, kind of. I don't know, with this guy, I don't know what exactly is going to happen, and we're not able to really stop anything, but... Or, can I actually reach... Okay, this could work. Our better benefit to saving Luigi would be to do a stomp jump, land ourselves here, that skips the boo so we don't get affected by it, power ourselves up, see if we can get the bounce critical. We did not. But he should now die to that... the, uh, sentry. The boos really are kind of just a random annoyance that don't really affect things. Okay, you teleport... Oh, okay. Sentry distracted you. That's perfectly good for the sentry. All right, and you're too occupied with us that you, uh, yeah. All right, you leave Luigi alone, and Luigi's just gonna go finish this whole map off. Holy shit, I expanded that range out. get a little bit of healing done. Ah, oh, we didn't get the crit. A little sad there, but oh well. Can Mario get another kill? Yes, he can. Yeah, once the booze left, that actually was a really beneficial top area to be at. I should have assumed they would leave and then went around to the left, and then I could have chained a lot more pipes to get me closer to the exit, but... Oh well. And we're done. Luigi, once again, helping us get to the end fast. And that was the only mission on the thing, because it was a longer mission. Alright. We had six turns, and we only took three. That was great. And we're getting coins galore, which we'll save until after we unlock the secret chapter, so we can actually get the golden guns for everybody. So what's the secret of the clock tower? This contraption looks to be linked to the clock tower. Is it a puzzle? Ah, puzzle time. Oh, it's just a mirror puzzle. A more complicated mirror puzzle. I like, I like. Perhaps by turning the clock's hands backwards, we'll force the moon back in the sky. Sound like the type of nonsensical rabbit's logic the Mushroom Kingdom is overrun with, and therefore probably worth a shot. Why is there a... oh. I was like, why is there a push next to a wall? I can't do anything with this, but no, I can't. Ten more power orbs. They're having a moment. We shouldn't interrupt. Aww. It's cute in a creepy kind of way. Very creepy. All 
Alright. Just a free box here. Lost in the swamp. Alright, so then we have a statue. That's the rabbit door. So if I get that light clicked, it'll open that. Or this. Okay. What the hell? Did it go back? Huh. Alright, doesn't let us leave the puzzle area with it. Cool, cool. Um, alright, so how do I activate the rabbit thing? Oh, because this rabbit thing will get me a second platform piece. Okay. And that one will get me a third. Okay, so to solve the puzzle, I have to naturally go through all three of them. Alright, so if we go green down and, well, if we just put the, no, because the green down we wouldn't be able to go straight with. Uh, let's see, blue would miss everything. Actually, no, blue would... Alright, I'm gonna put, the, put it on blue just a sec to see. Okay. That would go into that one. Now, I want it to... I need to go red. Okay, so that'll raise it, and now it... I like how it's bouncing the four ways on this one. This over on the yellow one. Alright, that lowers those. And now, if we lower the green one... No, that'll bounce the wrong way. Ah, there's two greens, and they're right in the way. Green-yellow combo would be bad. The green-regular combo would just go that way. Okay, what's the next one I'm supposed to be hitting? That goes around that way, which leads to a secret area or bonus thing of some sort. We need to end up here, which means we need... Looks like we need blue and red active? No, we had blue and red. Let's switch up the green one, see how that changes the puzzle. And then... Ah, okay, I didn't re there we go. I didn't realize yellow was already active, so I was thinking that one needed to be pressed down by a third button, but it wasn't. Alright, now if we go with... Alright, get to this one. Red and blue, and then swap green for yellow. It turns that one on. Oh, well, that activated all three? That was the end of the puzzle? Really? Oh, I thought there was more to it than that, but okay. And the moon, it's reversing its course. The tidal forces have killed millions with tidal waves as we reversed the flow of gravity. Or, the tidal forces and the gravity effect on the ocean, but sure. You know, we didn't just cause mass havoc throughout the world by moving the moon backwards. Also, you know, letting out an ancient evil, but, you know. Who cares about that? Our cryptic colleague calls to congratulate us. Mwahahaha, the moon gate is open, Mr. Tom Fan awaits. Soon you'll be out of the picture entirely. Mwahahaha. Er, when I wrote out of the picture, I meant doing great. Also, when I wrote mwahaha, I meant congratulations. Also, when I wrote mwahaha, the second time I meant, er, you guys are really cool and I like you a lot and definitely don't wish you any harm. Snicker. <laughs> Well, it would seem that our guest is almost at end. Our quest is almost at end. Oh, yeah. Let's not keep our savior waiting any longer than necessary. Wow, you, you still are naive, Beepo. Poor Beepo. 
Is there any bonuses in any of those unlocked areas? No, not really. So here, this was the path to the next area. Here, I thought it was like a secret path or something bonusy, but nope. No such luck. Oh, well, here's a bonus. This will get us a new weapon for the boss. Get it, get it! Oh, last second. Woo! Oh, I screwed that up a couple times, but it ended up working out in the end. Bozo Boom, greatest show on Earth, smacking your enemies upside the dome. So we got an enhanced weapon for... So we got two enhanced grenades for our last two weapon rewards, which is pretty good. Got a lot more skill points, so we're gonna have some pretty good abilities as well. Any interesting rabid shenanigans going on in the world? Doesn't look like it. And then we have our smash area. Oh, there's that shortcut. Gee, I wonder which way the coins are leading us. Probably not into certain doom. Wait, we have to... F oh, we already cleared this battle. I was gonna say, we have to fight here again? How many times are they gonna reuse the same battlefield? But nope. Guess it's on track to see... The boss. Which we, I think we have time for. Anything secret over here? Huh? Oh, this is from one of those side area areas. Boss time! Why, it's a theater! Tom Fancher has a flair for the dramatic, doesn't he? Peepo, just a quick note to let you know my email was hacked. Please ignore any messages about a Mr. Tom Fan as I suspect it's a trap. Although no doubt you figured that out for yourself already, as I'm sure it was obvious to you as it was to me. Signed, your biggest fan. So you finally decided to show up. You're just in time for the show. Bowser Jr., it was you who sent those messages asking us to collect the relics of goodness. So we could unlock the moon gate to find Mr. Tom Fan, wasn't it? I knew it all along. Or, well, I suspect it. Okay, I just figured it out in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> Tom Fan was a red herring. It was just a trap, wasn't it? Oh, he's real, all right. In fact, thanks to you, he's about to make his debut right here on this very stage. Go on now, Spony, do your thing. Maybe you need a little encouragement. Aw. Aw, poor Spawny. Behold, Tom Fan, better known as Phantom. Wow, we totally didn't call that from a... Okay, was not expecting that. Phantom hogs the spotlight. Ever since Donkey Kong, seething down every pipe, despite his plum shaped body type, was born a run in fear while screaming, Mamma Mia, who leaves me gray and grim. Oh, what does Peach see in him? Mario! With great joy in my heart, he 
It's time I watch Mario Kart. You're first and doing so well. But here come the Spanish shell. <laughs> and this is actually really good. When your rabbi friends have finally met your end, just let me catch my breath. Then I'll I see you today. Keep going, keep going. I, I could watch this for longer. Since it's indicated that Mr. Tom Fan, or the Phantom, is immune to attack, Phantom of the Opera. Son of a bitch, I get the theater thing now. Ah. Uh... Immune to attack when he's hide hugging the spotlight. If the, if the greedy songbird is to sing his swan song, we must find a way to turn off those lights. Alright. Well, for some reason, the lights are not... ...damageable. Interesting. Five hundred health. He has a rocket launcher with push. Ooh, he can petrify. That's not good. All right, he's got some protectors who, have no doubt, will be you know protecting him. This looks like where the next couple switches are gonna be going. So he'll be on left, at stage right, stage left. Ooh, so it looks like after this first one, it teaches us the mechanic. Then we have to deactivate three. Okay, so he's going to go this way second, because there's only two to deactivate my here. My stage technique allows me to keep my composure under the spotlight. I like this boss. Alright, so this will be the third spot, this will be the second spot. So we know where his movements are going to go. We can run into this pipe, and then that will put us up here. I think that's a drop-down thing we can use. If not, two people can run down that pipe and we can break both of them. The question is, can we just break it with a slide dash, or what? So I think actually we're going to take on this boss next time, because uh, this does look like it's... Spotlight is on. It's just me and the audience. Yeah, so I think this is going to be a complicated and fairly long boss fight, so I think we'll do it next time. So leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe for more Mario & Rabbids Kingdom Battle.